That's the minister. Well, aren't you going to let Mr. Anderson in? Oh. Have you told her? She made me. <laughs> Sister, the Lord has laid his hand very heavily upon you. It's his will, I suppose, and I must bow to it. But I do think it had. What call had Timothy to go to Springtown and remind everybody that it belonged to a man that was being hanged and that deserved it if ever a man did? They were brothers, Mrs. Dutchin. Timothy never acknowledged him as his brother after we were married. He had too much respect for me to insult me with such a brother. Would such a selfish wretch as Peter have come 30 miles to see Timothy hanged, do you think? Not 30 yards, not he. However, I must bear my cross as best I may. Mm. Least said is soonest mended. Your eldest son was present at the execution, Mrs. Dutchin. Richard? Yes. Oh, let it be a warning to him. He may end that way himself, the wicked, dissolute, godless... Did Timothy see him? Yes. Well? He only saw him in the crowd. They did not speak. Ah... Oh. Your husband was greatly touched and impressed by his brother's awful death. <laughs> well, wasn't it only natural, Mrs. Dudgeon? He softened towards his prodigal son at that very moment. He sent for him to come to see him. Sent for Richard? Yes, but Richard would not come. He sent his father a message, but I'm sorry to say it was a, a wicked message, an awful message. What was it? That he would stand by his wicked uncle and stand against his good parents in this world and the next. He will be punished for it. He will be punished for it in both worlds. That is not in our hands, Mrs. Dutchin. Did I say it was, Mr. Anderson? We are told that the wicked shall be punished. Why should we do our duty and keep God's law if there is to be no difference made between us and those who follow their own likens and dislikens and make a jest of us and of their maker's word? Well, Richard's earthly father has been merciful to him, and his heavenly judge is the father to us all. Richard's earthly father was a soft head. Mrs. Dudgeon? Well, I am Richard's mother. If I'm against him, who has any right to be for him? Uh... Won't you sit down by the fire, Mr. Anderson? I should have asked you before, but I'm so troubled. Thank you. 